This tutorial is going to explain why it is nearly impossible to prevent WordPress hacks 100% of the time. Recently, there's been some high profile hacks, most notably the social warfare plugin, which took down a lot of websites and the fact that that's hard to prevent. And if you think of hacks in the world, the Pentagon's been hacked, the CAA has been hacked, every world government I'm sure has been hacked. And these are entities with, with huge, huge budgets that are focused on security quite often and they can still be hacked. So what chance do we really have in our little WordPress sites? Not much, but there are a lot of things we can do to reduce the likelihood of being hacked. And there's some steps I'm gonna show you to take in this video that in the event of being hacked, you should have some security or some backup measures in place to recover from that hack quickly. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab and we're getting started right now. Just a quick review, the top ways WordPress sites are hacked are through hosting, themes, plugins, and weak passwords. Now the themes and plugins are the ones we're most interested in. The hosting, there's not much you can do with that besides move to a better host or get off of shared hosting because often when shared hosting, one site gets hacked, then they're all hacked because they're all on the same server. So you wanna go upgrade your hosting to something better and more secure if you can. But the themes and the plugins combined, those are 51% of sites being hacked through themes and plugins. And often those are just vulnerabilities in those themes and plugins. And the way to prevent those hacks from happening is to update your themes and plugins when updates become available. And that includes WordPress core as well. There are vulnerabilities that are found in the WordPress core sometimes. You wanna make sure you update as soon as you can. And the reason preventing hacks 100% of the time is almost impossible is because who has time to update everything as updates become available? It's there's updates every day. If, you, if you're running 10 plugins on your site, there is literally an update every single day. So it, it's a lot of work to do it, but it's necessary if you wanna protect yourself as best you can. Now there's a lot of other security measures you can get into, but those address a lot of other things. The, the fact is, no matter what security measures you have, if there's a vulnerability in a plugin or theme that allows a hacker to inject code onto your server, no matter what security measures you have in place, they're not helping. I don't care if you have iThemes installed, WordFence, WebArcs, uh, Cloudflare, everybody. You can have everything running on your site. Well, you shouldn't because there'll probably be conflicts, but you could have every single security measure in place that you could possibly dream of. But if there's a vulnerability in a plugin that allows a hacker to inject something onto your server, you're hacked. I don't care what you have on your server. So that that is the problem. That is the problem we're facing. That's the problem we're fighting. So when high profile hacks happen, like the social warfare plugin or Yoast SEO a few months back, sites get hacked, no matter what the security measures are that they have in place. And here's the biggest problem. When a plugin is, or when a plugin has a vulnerability and there's an update released, the update includes information on what the vulnerability is. So a, a proactive hacker will go out and find vulnerabilities nobody else has discovered, and then they'll hack sites that way. Uh, or set up their bot to hack sites that way. And a lazy hacker will look at the security updates on plugins and themes and WordPress core and say, well, I know that most people aren't gonna update their site right now. So most sites that have this plugin will have this vulnerability right now. So I'm just gonna set my bot up to target this vulnerability and boom, 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 thousands of sites are hacked, just like that. And these vulnerabilities are easy to find. There are multiple vulnerability databases just like this that show exactly what the vulnerabilities are. Now these are meant to help webmasters. So we know when there's vulnerabilities, when things need to be updated and things like that. Although it's just easier to go into WordPress admin and update from there. You don't have to check these all the time. But in helping webmasters, it also helps hackers because it describes exactly what the hack is. For example, if we search social warfare, and if you find this kind of content useful, let me know by clicking the subscribe button and then ringing the bell icon. The more subscribers I have, the more I know that this content is actually useful. And also leave a comment in the description down below. Let us know what kind of hack security measures you have in place or experiences you've had with hacked websites of your own or your clients so that we can all get better at this stuff. We see we have an entry here for March 21st, just under a month ago. We click on this link and it shows us exactly what can be done to make this hack work for you. You as in the hacker, you set up your bot, 
with the information that you find in here and probably have some hacker knowledge yourself and you can start hacking websites. Because I guarantee, even though this happened over a month ago, there are still social warfare plugins installed on WordPress sites that have not been updated. I guarantee it. Because the hackers don't have a magic database of every single WordPress site in the world. They go out and they look for WordPress sites. And some of them have not been found yet. I guarantee it. And they may still be hacked if they don't update. That's why updating is so important. It's because everybody is told what the security problem is. Please update. If you don't update, that problem exists on your site. And that's the long and short of it. And the, the point of my diatribe here is that you are going to have a lot of trouble trying to prevent hacks 100% of the time. It is much more realistic to try to prevent hacks as much as you can, put as many security measures in place as possible because you don't want to be the low-hanging fruit. You want to have your site secured as best as you can, but understand hacks will still happen at some point. And when they do, you want to have a way to recover. And the best way to do that is having a backup of your site. And I've linked to the tutorial up above, which shows you my process for recovering from a hacked site, which is just backups and reverting to a clean version of the site. And I'll show you how to set that up using free plugins and it's on a schedule. So you schedule your backups daily, weekly, monthly, whatever your time period is, whatever time period you want. And you have these backups created. Now the trouble is even this is not foolproof because if you have a lot of sites that you manage and maybe they're not client sites, maybe they're your own sites and maybe one gets hacked but you don't notice, and you're not gonna have unlimited backups of your site. You're gonna back up for maybe the past month, maybe you have five or six backups, maybe, maybe two from this week, one from last week, one from the week before, and one from a month ago. Maybe that's your backup setup. And so if you do not discover the hack soon enough, those older backups will be replaced by the new ones, and the new ones will have the hack in them as well. So you need to be proactive and know which sites have been hacked, Sometimes the hack can be quite obvious because it redirects users to somewhere else. And sometimes they're not so obvious. And sometimes you don't even notice, quite frankly. So you always need to be vigilant. You need to have your security measures in place, but understand that hacks are still possible no matter what security measures you have. The Pentagon, the CAA, world governments have been hacked. They have security measures. They have buildings full of security teams and they've been hacked. So understand that it is still possible, no matter what your security measures are, it's still possible to be hacked. So you need to have a backup system in place to revert back to clean versions of your site in the event of a catastrophe, such as a hack. And just in case you're thinking, my website's so small, nobody's gonna wanna hack my website. Check out this tutorial up here in the card above, somewhere in the description down below, which explains and details all the different ways hackers can use your site and why they even wanna hack your site, even if you have zero traffic. I've seen sites hacked within hours of being online. There's not even a website there yet. It's just like, it's, it, well, there's a website because they hacked it, but there's just a blank WordPress install, 2017 theme, nothing going on, hacked brand new. And some hackers have a business model that allows them to use these brand new sites for their profit and their benefit. I'm going to show you how they do that in this tutorial link to up above. This is a great time for a shameless plug. On my website, I sell a WP security action plan for $47, which helps you secure your sites, a step-by-step -step video course. You can get it for just $7 instead of that 47. If you opt in for the PDF, the top 10 security hardening measures for WordPress down below, get that PDF and then you'll be able to get that full course, the video course for just $7. And that will help you secure your site. But like I said, even with those steps, you may still be vulnerable if you don't update your plugins. If you're not with a good host, you can still be hacked. So you need to have your backup protocol in place. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell icon so you don't miss any more videos like this. And next up is checking out this video right here, which is the top 10 mistakes, security mistakes I see over and over on WordPress sites and how to fix them. And down here is the video YouTube thinks you should watch. And until next time, I'm Bjorn Allpass from the WP Learning Lab. Keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.